everyone, it's Celine here and today I'm going to be doing my life updates video as well as question and answer video with questions asked by yours truly, you guys. And I'm going to be talking about some things that have been going on with my life recently that I really wanted to share with you guys because a lot of exciting things have happened and a couple boring things happened, but I figured I'd tell you guys some of the most important ones in my opinion and um, let's just get into it. So if you've been on my channel for a while, then something is pretty obvious right now. One, I got new glasses, and two, I got an amazing haircut I'm so in love with. So many people have been asking me, do I love it, do I hate it? And honestly, the second it all came off, I just fell in love with it, I was obsessed with it, and to this day, I'm still obsessed with it, and uh, I got a pixie cut. Yeah, I chopped it all off and I donated my hair. If you've not seen my video, that hit over 5,000 views, which is insane. So um, thank you guys for the love you guys have been showing me on there. I had so, so, so many sweet comments on that video. Oh my gosh, you guys make me so happy. Whenever I read your comments, I just get really, really emotional sometimes because they're just so sweet and uh, I just want to hug every single one of you, okay? But anyways, yeah, I did donate my hair. If you have not seen my video, the link will be in the description box as most of my favorite videos are always linked down there anyways. And so, yeah, so I got a haircut and along with that, uh, I got new glasses because not only did I want new glasses, but also... Uh, my prescription did change, so the Ray-Bans that I had, I have in my house, I'm just not going to be wearing them because they're not my prescription anymore, and also, they do not really go with my haircuts, so, um, yeah, they look kind of silly on me, but so, I got these glasses, these are Michael Kors, they're like this, I just wanted to let you guys know what they are, because I always get comments still to this day on what my regular, what my old glasses used to be like, the Ray-Bans, and these were... Ray Bands, as you saw, and as I just said. And these are the Michael Kors glasses. They're really cute because not only is it like brown to match my hair color, I just think it really complements my eye shape and just my face shape as well as um, the color of my eye because my eyes are dark brown. And since this is a lighter brown, I feel like that's just, I don't know, makes them look better, kind of. And then the inside is the most fun part because it's a lavender color and I love the color lavender so much. And so this is what it looks like. It's like lavender on the inside and then light brown on the outside. And then I like it because it has a thin, um, man, what is that called? But you know what I mean? Like this thingy, like the thing that actually, like the handles, I guess you'd say, of your glasses. So the side is very thin, which I really, really like because my old ones used to be really thick. So again, I changed a lot of things up um, per, um, physically, not really uh, emotionally or internally because I'm pretty much the same person. I got the same heart, same kidneys, it's all the same. I also got new sunglasses. Why are them here? Might as well just show you them. I got these Vera Bradley sunglasses. Again, these are also prescription and um, these are non-glare. If you couldn't see like that way, you don't, you're not going to be able to see the light umbrellas that I'm using right now. Just for photos, I like the way that it is anti-glare better. So this is what it looks like. It just looks like similar to the um, old glasses that I have. So they're the similar style, but the inside is so awesome. And I'm like floral. Do you see this guys? Like it's floral and awesome and I'm just so obsessed. So I actually have glasses now because my old ones, I had old prescription glasses. But um, last summer when I was in Turkey, we were at this um, little breakfast place, like breakfast inn I guess. And I put them down on my seat, which was really stupid of me to do. So I kind of do blame myself for that. And my mom decided to sit down on this chair without looking down and my glasses broke. So... That's that. So I kind of did need new sunglasses and so I got them and I'm obsessed with them. Another thing that I want to tell you guys about is that I'm taking an SAT class every single weekday and it's a couple hours long so it is lengthy and I do have homework, a lot of homework from that class. So it takes me about like an hour and a half to two hours to complete it and study for the class because I do have to memorize vocabulary words. I do have to practice my math and English and everything for the SAT. So the reason why I'm taking it during the summertime is because I want to get a head start on everything because during the school year I do soccer and I also do other extra curricular activities so I feel like it would be beneficial for me to start earlier on. So yeah, I'm going, going into my junior year of high school which is kind of terrifying because we, it's very, um, at least in my school and I know in other schools also, it's kind of a notorious event junior year because it's really hard and it's a very stressful year, so I'm trying to go into it positive and hoping for the best and trying my best. So I want to let you guys know um, the reason why I told you guys that is because I thought I would have more time in the summer to film videos. However, it's been getting harder and harder each day to film a video for you guys because I do have homework and studying to do. And I also, it's the summer, so I like to spend time with my friends that I don't get to see that often during the school year, like my friend Fiona, who goes to a different school than me, which is like 40, mi 40 minutes away. So um, 
I want to catch up with some of my friends and just spend time with them. So thank you guys so much for understanding that I'm uploading at least once a week. So I'm not quitting videos. No way. No how. I'm still making videos at least once a week. However, it's not going to be twice a week. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. So thank you to all of you who commented on both um, of the latest pictures that I posted. And so if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Vine where I just um, post updates about my life and do things like this where I ask you guys to ask me questions and you guys do. So I'm going to go on Instagram and again my Instagram is at beautyblush06 just like all my other social media. Okay, wow, for this one you guys asked 50 comments, so that's awesome. So thank you for the 50 comments, I'm seeing that now. So I'm just kind of picking and going as I go along. Okay, so the first question is from Dancer with two R's, four, like the number four ever with three R's asks, top three, top three favorite songs at the moment. And I have been honestly been so obsessed with Ed Sheeran's new album, Multiply. Uh, I saw him in concert for like a last minute show that he did and he told everyone maybe like two hours at most in advance that he's doing it and it was like 20 bucks for the concert. So you can't get better than that. So I went to that and it was, <sighs> it was awesome. I loved Ed Sheeran, so I also went to that concert. And um, so probably, I love the song, The Man. I don't know, I just love the rap song. I love the vibe, I love the whole, you can just feel his motion just pouring out into the song. I love that song. I love the song um, I'm a Mess by Ed Sheeran and hmm, I've been also loving a lot of songs by the artist, um, not the artist, but the band Walk the Moon. If you guys know them at all, um, it's kind of like an indie band. So on Spotify at BeautyBlush06, that's also my username on there. I have a lot of different playlists with different artists and um, some are more common and some are more uncommon than others. So if you want to check out what I'm listening to, go follow me on Spotify so you guys can go check that out. K.Aya, I guess it's Kia, uh, she asked me favorite Starbucks drink and I'm pretty sure it would have to be my caramel frappuccino with whipped cream because I love caramel. If you guys do not know that, I love caramel. So that's a pretty good drink for me. Jessica underscore XO22 asked, why are you so obsessed with me? Oh, and if you could go on a date with any person or celebrity from any time, like a long time ago or now, who would it be and why? Love you, Celine. First of all, Jess, I love you too. I'm, I'm totally kidding. Um, so probably, hmm, this is like gonna sound weird, but if I was a lot older, or Frank Sinatra was a lot younger, it'd probably be Frank Sinatra from a different time period, but from today's time period, um, like, actually, like, date-wise, boyfriend-wise, I feel like Ansel Elgort would be, um, a good, like, boyfriend, I guess. Maybe Logan Lerman also. Ooh, maybe, actually, maybe Nat Wolf. So, I don't know, maybe any of those three. Or four. Yeah, those four. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of celebrities that are really attractive, but I don't know if I would actually want to date them because I feel like they'd be pretty stuck up and personally I don't know I'm just kind of making my own assumptions about that but um that's personally I feel like they would be the most compatible with me I guess in my personality it's underscore a underscore Lainey underscore thing asked what happened to the spider thing on Twitter oh my gosh so this morning at my SAT class I just looked down and I see this huge spider bug creature thing with like at least 20 legs. Oh, I'm getting like really, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because it's so disgusting. I just, okay. So it was just walking and it just passed by my legs and my feet and I tried so hard not to shriek and cry, well, not cry, but like try not to shriek because it was so disgusting. I was terrified the entire class. They was just gonna go up my leg because it looked like it could climb. And so, what happened to that is later on in the class, a guy actually noticed this um, creature and kind of like yelled a little bit. And so everyone looks around, they're like, whoa, whoa, and like we see it. And then everyone's like up out of their seats, except like I'm sitting. And one guy who was like near the bug got up and went all the way to the back of the classroom and just stood there. So, um, but then the teacher, he completely loves all living things basically. So he just picked it up and brought it outside. So how kind and humane of him. So, um, that's pretty much what happened with that. It got out of the classroom, but then someone was saying there's two of them. So, I, I don't know. Maybe it's still in that classroom, which I'll be in tomorrow, but as of now, it's gone. Short Stuff 2000 asked, Have you ever felt like you needed to start over, change your style, change your room, etc.? And if you have, why did you want to start over? BTW, I love your videos and I love you. I love you too. Um, I guess so, yeah. I mean, I changed my room completely. Uh, two summers ago before high school because I really wanted to change so now it's the way it is now I mean I got a haircut a couple weeks ago and so I just really I did that I got new glasses so I did really change up my look a lot I guess in the past month and also in the past few years like I really did change also my style 
Um, I kind of feel like I know what my style is now. I kind of like lacy things, but I also like grungy things, and I also like bohemian style flowy shirts. So, and I also like sweaters. So it's just kind of, I just kind of developed my style. So I did it because I really wanted to change, and I kind of just became who I am, kind of. And so that's pretty much it. Winter Decker 12 asked, what age did you start wearing makeup? And I started wearing makeup in ninth grade. I was gonna say last year, but I guess I'm a junior now, so really two years ago. I wore makeup on the first day of high school, and that was like when I started actually wearing, um, routinely started wearing makeup. And um, I didn't necessarily wear like a whole face full of makeup. I wore a little bit of eyeliner, mascara, um, some blush, I guess. And then as time went on, I progressively started getting more and more into it. So I guess the, um, the first day of freshman year of high school for me. Hi guys, I just landed. So yeah, she's on a flight. Yeah. And if you stay till the very end of this video, you are very, very lucky because I'm going to be doing an international giveaway for my wonderful subscribers. And it's going to be um, partnered with me and Romway, the clothing company, the online clothing company that I'm obsessed with. You guys all know that I love their online clothing because they have awesome clothes. They have a really big um, variety of different clothing. So it's really fit for anyone of all. Um, styles basically and so what's going to happen is it's going to be a cardigan giveaway so here's a picture of the cardigan hopefully it's going to be up here on the page by the time i'm uploading this and everything and basically if you have a facebook account you can go on the product page that i'm going to be leaving linked down below so go check it out if you can uh, again links will be in the description box so make sure you go check it out because that's really important for you to see the page um if you can go on the page and comment Beauty Blush 06 sent me here and also write a comment that you really like about that specific um, clothing item, then that would be really awesome because that's your way of entering. And also for me to enter, you have to be subscribed to my channel, of course. So subscribe to Beauty Blush 06 if you're watching um, on a computer, then the subscription, the subscribe button will be up here. And so yeah, basically just subscribe and comment something nice, maybe a video request you guys want me to do because I'd love to hear what you guys want me to do in the future. And so that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this giveaway is international, so anyone in the world can enter, like I said before. And there's going to be this huge sale tomorrow on the 17th of July for Romway. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be this awesome sale on the cardigan itself. So it's going to be really, really discounted as most of Romway's um, clothing items are they're really um, reasonably priced I would say for most of them so again go check Romway out I'll leave links down below and leave a comment down below what video request you want me to do and basically subscribe so that's all the rules that there are to this giveaway and I will be announcing it in the description box of one of my future videos so currently I have two giveaways going on right now so if you want to enter both of them just click the last video my Rosie the River tier music um, Rosie the Rivets here makeup tutorial that I just uploaded as well as this one here. So go enter both of them if you want a chance to win both of the clothing items. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. It's just so amazing to see all of you comment such sweet, sweet things and you really make my day go by so much better. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone!